Chef Jerry James Stone has become a social media sensation for his videos on making cooking easy, saving money, and not throwing out food. His mission is fighting food waste. I we love this. I love this too. Jerry Jones is live, or Jerry joins us live <laughs> in studio now with some easy tips. And I feel like you're like exuding the message of I'm not wasting to. food. Because in our household, it's like you got to compost the peel, you put the bad, you know, the bananas going brown in the freezer for yeah. banana bread. Nice shirt. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, good point because America wastes 40% of the food that we grow. 40%. So it accounts for almost 10% of greenhouse gases. So oh. food waste is a huge issue. That's terrible. terrible. And it's easy because yeah. there yeah. tasty things you can do with it. That's the best part is Show you can us. solve it, right? So I'm going to start off with the broccoli because I think that's one of the of everyone's favorites. And I really love broccoli. Easy. Did you know it's actually a flower? I you're don't eating, know. Maybe. You're eating the flower. So the thing is like, and that's why you store it just like that, right? So you want to trim off oh. the end. This is really important because you want to get I that know, water I in there. I did not know like that. that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you just want to store it Learning just like so cut much. flowers. <gasps> Put it in there. And then you the fridge. in the fridge like yeah, that? Yeah, put it in the fridge just like that. Depending on your fridge, you might have to put a bag over the top. There might be a lot of moisture or it might be okay. pouring out the moisture. Oh. But store like that. I had my fresh broccoli last for almost a month. What? Really? Like, Are you kidding me? I'm not kidding you. I, my I mind kid. is already I blown. <laughs> cauliflower like that too? What was that? Cauliflower too? Well, the thing with cauliflower, yes. But the problem is the way it's sold, it has that really short stem. Yeah. So if you could put it in a bowl like this, you could probably have the Do same that. thing happen. Okay. But it's not quite as easy. Okay, tell me about the that. kiwi. Yeah, so you want to try to peel one with the I spoon? would love to because okay. I love kiwi and I'm such a disaster at trying to get the well, peel so off. So the thing about kiwi, so actually 98% of all kiwi grown here in the U.S., comes from California. We, oh, we wow. grow like everything here. Yeah. So, and you can eat the skin and everything too. So, okay. do you eat the skin oh, or do no, you peel it? No, I don't it? like the skin. I don't like it's the skin. All, like, so, I have a trick for you. It. it does have little hairs on it. It does. It does. <laughs> but I have a trick for you. Okay. So, yeah. So, you want to just get the spoon in there between the flesh and the skin. Okay. Just, yeah, there you go. Try okay. not to break scoop it. Scoop it out. Okay. And then you're just going to rotate the kiwi around the spoon. There okay. you go. There you go. Oh, wow. So the peel is completely edible. So what I like to do is I put it in the freezer in a bag, and I throw it in my smoothie. It's full of oh, nutrients. Oh, interesting. Yeah. That's you smart. You won't even know it's I'm there. I'm dripping all Yeah, the there you go. <laughs> but kiwi has more vitamin C than an orange. So Look at you, that. You, the, Here's see, the peel. Super easy. She did it. Wow. She did it. And if <laughs> so I can do it, people, you can do it. Trust me. Then yeah, I'm there you go. Eat yeah, there's almost as so much potassium as a banana, but like the peel has a lot of nutrients. So if you freeze it, toss in that smoothie, extra nutrients. Such a great tip. <laughs> Strawberries. Yeah, so we're just going to talk about washing produce here. So you don't have to buy an expensive produce wash. The best thing to use, baking soda. It oh. actually gets things more, removes more pesticides, removes everything more than bleach. You're I, use it for, I use it to clean all my appliances it's and everything. It's great for and that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, washing oh, yeah, machines, no, yeah. dishwashers. Yeah, you just add in, add in your produce. We're gonna add in some baking soda. What I do, just add like about a tablespoon or so mm -hmm. for a couple cups of water. Mix it all together, oh. it completely dissolve. Let it soak for 15 minutes. This will remove everything. It's way better than... But then does it taste salty? It doesn't taste... No, you just rinse it off. It's perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's really super, awesome. super, super easy. That's much easier yeah. than what I've and been attempting to do. Everyone has baking soda, right? Yeah. Like, it's not yes. like it's, you know, no. you don't have to buy you can a find it anywhere. veggie yes. wash. Okay, this last... Um, this last section. What is oranges. it? I'm so sorry. What? I'm so <laughs> confused. Just right? eat everything. No, no, that's what it's for. So oranges, you know, oranges. Is this the skin? Mm. This is so the good. skin. Mm. Like so you good. can candy the skin. Like I'll dip oh, wow. it in chocolate, delicious. add a little sea salt. It's a great, this is delicious. right? <laughs> Super tasty. And the thing that's great about it is, so oranges, they look wonderful in a bowl. It's the worst way to store them. Really? Put them in the fridge. They're Ooh. a winter fruit. So put it in the fridge. They can last up to six months. Uh, I've uh, had my lemons six last months? six months. I've had lemons last that long, limes last that long, they do much better in a bag in, in the, the fridge. fridge. Yeah, um, and then well, the peels, you can candy. Well, Jerry, thank you for doing this for us. We're going <laughs> to continue to eat <laughs> <your> <laughs> delicious. Um, if you'd like more information about Jerry and even more kitchen hacks, I'm sorry I'm speaking with my <laughs> mouth full. Do you want to take this over? Yeah, you can go to kcalnews.com and click scene on TV. Jerry, thank you. Thank you for having me.